All right, if I can get lights, first of all, curtain, if I get some lights as strong as these, I think the color of their face looks natural instead of just, I don't know how to explain it, but I look whiter when the lights of the, on the back are stronger. Anyway, how y'all doing? I want to talk with y'all real quick regarding on the newest Nintendo console. Now today it's July 23rd, 2024. There has been no news on Nintendo's newest console, but me and a few relatives of mine have been speculating of what could it be. Nintendo loves to surprise the audience in their own way. They like to be unique. They like to be quirky, but also some of their games and in their previous consoles give you hints of what they might do. Remember the jump from DS to 3DS? At the time, there was a technological boom in movies regarding Avatar, the not last airbender, but the Avatar movie by James Cameron. It debuted these 3D glasses where it was a polished 3D. It wasn't red and blue combination. And that with the movie, it sold a lot of tickets. It even made or persuaded some TV companies to make 3D TVs. Now that has died off. That did not last long. I think it lasted for like five years. Even Nintendo on the 3DS, they made a 2DS, which they realized that it wasn't much of a big of a deal. They didn't focus 3D stuff on their games like after 2015 or 2016, they just focus on how cool it would be in their handheld console. So the jump of DS to 3DS, they took note of that. The Wii to Wii U, the tablets, and the Wii U to Switch, they took note the errors on the Wii U and marketing errors. They revamped it to the Nintendo Switch with a unique control scheme that hasn't been done ever or at least in a long time in their own way so he and a few relatives were talking and i was thinking they'll eventually have to bring back ds games right in their nso what if they take no i'm trying to look for my phone uh what if they make their newest console have a screen like this, but the newest phones are the ones that that flip. You know, are you seeing where I'm getting at? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? That would be the only way where Nintendo could put the DS games easily is if the they keep the aesthetic or the hype or whatever word. What if the new Nintendo console has kind of like two screens? Will be something like this, a little wider, but able to flip. Now, I don't know if it would be flipped on the side or up and down, but I feel like that will be a next step in a way that they want to keep themselves stylish the mobile stuff they can even do different versions coloring with that and that would be easier for them to bring back ds games now another thing that will stay is the accelerator and the ir camera which why don't we have my stuff closed but the thing that will keep around for sure is the accelerator in the the joy con and the ir camera because this can sense movement. They can show a can see movement from whatever you're doing. It wasn't implemented that much. The way they implemented well is in this game. Ring Fit was one of the games, one of the few games who implemented the IR feature well, the accelerator in the Joy Cons well. Other than one to switch, that's the next game, the most recent game where they've done it well. That will stay. I feel like motion and gyro will be a thing to stay because that will 
help Nintendo be more creative with whatever they, they're make, making, you know? Taking that off will limit them way more and it will be less distinctive from Sony's PlayStation and Microsoft's Xbox console. And other than that, I think they'll, um, this is my opinion, I don't know if they'll ever implement this, but seeing as how many gotcha games have grown and how much success they they're having, I'm not saying that Nintendo's gonna make their own gotcha game, but I feel like they're gonna make the device in a way where it could not make them easier, but some mobile games will be ported there because one thing Nintendo loves to do is to be family oriented, couch co-op, and also make people get out of the houses. That's why the Nintendo DS sold the most out of the home console, the Game Boy, the 3DS. So I feel like they're going to do something. It doesn't have to be gacha. I've just thought of gacha because Genshin Impact is one is considered a mobile game than a PC game. I feel like that will be something they're going to focus on, making people get out and the first thing I thought of was Genshin because it's a mobile game. Maybe they're going to do something like Pokemon Unite where you can have some games on the phone and on the Switch. But maybe that's just a Timmy thing. Uh, I don't know. Those are thoughts I've been talking about with a few gaming relatives of mine. So uh, they're going to keep motion. If you wanted that to go away, that's not going to go away. We'll limit them. Uh, having the the screen of the newest Nintendo console flip or a dual screen experience that way the DS games could come back and they're gonna focus something on being more mobile like mobile games being easily ported to the newest Nintendo console right now Pokemon Unite runs roughly on the Nintendo Switch it runs really well on mobile but Playing it on mobile is kind of uncomfortable. So I don't know what controller would they do for that. Maybe instead of just, they'll keep the thing where it just slides in. But I, I want a better quality Joy-Con, by the way, because this was trash, this was Rush. Uh, I've known Nintendo controllers to be really well, but this one's the first time where they really disappointed me and I hope the newest Nintendo console doesn't do that. But yeah, other than that, I'm I don't know what they could bring. But those are my thoughts and a few of my relatives I've spoken about. This is related, but I don't think this is gonna count to happen. I would love for a version of Miiverse to come back because they are going to discontinue the Twitter thing on the Nintendo Switch very early, which it boggles my mind because if the newest Nintendo console, I hope, is backwards compatible, wouldn't it be good if some of the Nintendo games you played on the Switch would still be posted on Twitter? Maybe that's a contract thing between Twitter and Facebook that I don't know about. Maybe that's because they plan on doing a Miiverse thing again, like more like Discord. But how would they handle that? You know, that's why I say it's like a reach. But I just love Miiverse so much on the Wii U. It was so fun. It was better handled than how many, how much garbage people are on Twitter, Facebook and other social medias. It's better maintained. I would love that for that to come back. It could be attached to the phones as well. Like the, the app could be shared on phones in the Nintendo's newest console. I don't know, just brainstorming. And before those ideas go away or before the Nintendo console, the new console, whatever it's going to be called, comes out, I wanted to throw that out there just, just to interact with you guys. So what do you think? Uh, what are your thoughts? And keep in mind that their Nintendo will not go the hardware route. Uh, they the last time they did that was on GameCube, and a lot of third parties 
uh, gaslit them, betrayed them, so they're not going to do that again. They're not going to focus so much on being very hardware uh, savvy. I mean, the graphics on some games have reached their limit visually. They can't go get any better. Uh, but yeah, what are your thoughts on what would be cool for the next Nintendo console would be? Or what you think logically, uh, being a Nintendo fan for years, if you haven't been one, well, what are your thoughts anyway? I just want to interact with you guys while you think. And if my ideas seem... I don't know. Plausible? Let me know in the comment section. I want to know. But yeah. Uh, this was very random. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, evening, whenever you say this. I don't know why I say evening and night. They're basically the same thing. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy it. Bye-bye. <laughs>